Hi guys, if you are maybe looking for an 8 inch Windows 8.1 tablet and don't know which to choose, I think I have a pretty interesting comparison for you today. It is the Dell Venue 8 Pro against the Lenovo ThinkPad 8. This means pretty much the best budget tablet against pretty much the only higher end tablet. So let's get to it. On the Dell we have an 8 inch display with a resolution of 1280 by 800 and in the Lenovo we have an 8.3 inch display with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. Here we have the Intel Atom Z3740 and here we have the Intel Atom Z3770. Here we have 2GB of RAM, also 2GB of RAM. 32GB on internal storage here, 64 internal storage here. USB 2.0, USB 3.0. No micro HDMI, micro HDMI. So the main difference here would be faster CPU, more storage, micro HDMI and the higher resolution. But let's take the price into the comparison. This one costs between $200 and $250 and this one is about $400. So you see there is at least a difference of $150 if not $200. So let's get around the devices. Since I already reviewed both of them, I will keep the specifics down to a minimum and only take focus on the comparison. So if you want to know some specifics, just check each one's, each one's video. So let's check the size first. As you can see, the Dell is narrower and also less tall. In terms of thickness, I wouldn't say there is a big difference here. But if we take a look at the materials they used, here we have this awesome feeling soft touch with this texture and this one really feels amazing the device itself really doesn't flex much it feels pretty sturdy but it also has the display issue i showed you in the review as for the lenovo it has this aluminium which is pretty nicely coated and also feels great but if i would have to choose i think this one feels better but because of the more ruggedness, I'm, I'm not really sure if I would prefer the plastic because you can't bend, he, you can't bend the device and it squeaks even sometimes. But you can't really put, uh, push it like you can on the Dell, which led to the display issue I had. Also for the glass, I would say the Lenovo uses the better glass because it feels, as you can maybe hear, this feels more like plastic and this feels more like real glass and you also notice a difference. So I would say in terms of the quality this maybe is slightly better but this one maybe even feels better. So that's it for the hardware. If I would have to choose a winner here it would be extremely hard. Because of course in terms of specs this wins but in terms of the just of the hardware and the feel in the hand they are both pretty great but what I love on the Lenovo it has a complete curve. There is not really an edge, as you can see. And if you hold it, you hold the curve. And on here, I already told it in my review, you have this edge and you hold on to the edge. It still feels great, but the feel in the hand is better here because of the curved edge. So in overall, I would have to give it a tie, I think, because it's really a big difference because the materials here feel a bit better, but these ones here feel a bit more rugged in the long term, I think. So, sorry, I can't really choose a winner here. So, let's talk about the display now. Okay, let's compare the displays with each other. And, of course, the biggest difference here is the resolution. We have HD Plus here and only 1280 by 800 on this one. So, of course, the difference in the resolution will be there. But how does it compare in the whole? I will make a slideshow. And then we will talk about it. You just have to believe me what I say. Okay, in terms of, as you can see, both are at maximum brightness. So in terms of brightness, definitely the Dell wins. There is no, no denying here. In terms of the resolution and the sharpness, of course, the Lenovo wins. Nothing to say here. If in terms of black, as you can maybe see, they are pretty much on par. And I won't choose a winner here. In terms of white, both out of the box had about the same issue, both are too warm. I calibrated them a little bit so they are closer to white. And as you can see, in terms of the colors, I would prefer this one. They just feel more vivid, more brilliant, nicer to the eye. This one is also nice and I really like 
the Lenovo for watching videos because there you just see more details in the brightness and the, I think the contrast is a bit better. It seems this one has been, but maybe it washes also out a few details in, in terms of videos. If you are looking at the, at the pictures right now, you definitely will, will think this looks better. And besides the resolution, I am also giving the win here to this one. But in overall, I can't give it a win just because of the resolution, because I could open a page. Okay, just to show you real quick the difference in the resolution. We have both the same PDF. Let's bring them on the same height. And I think in real life, the difference is pretty notable. Noticeable. I will zoom in a bit so you can see the difference. You see here, text gets pretty, pretty blurry and you see every pixel where on this side, on the other hand, you still can see everything. It is not super sharp as on maybe an even higher resolution one, but there is definitely a difference. And th the good thing here is on this one, you can even zoom out completely read this text, which is pretty hard here because of the fuzziness of the text. So maybe it looks on the video as if the difference isn't even that big, but believe me, it is. If you have the right page right now open and you see the text, there is a huge difference here and that's why it's definitely winning the resolution part. Okay, so let's get to the end of the display part, which is the better display. In overall, this one has to win because this one is about better in everything, in the brightness, in the white, in the colors, maybe about the same in the black, but the higher resolution and the only marginal difference to this in the attributes just isn't enough to, com to compensate the lower resolution for the Dell. So display winner here. In Overall is this one. If it's just of, of the display quality, then this one would win. Because this one also has a little bit of backlight bleeding, which this doesn't have at all. The viewing angles are maybe on par, but I would still think this one is better. But overall, this one's the winner. Okay, let's talk about the sound. And I will make this pretty quick because the difference is pretty obvious. And I think it was never easier to choose a winner here. Just let me show you the Lenovo. I think that's enough. As you can maybe see, not really loud, no bass, not much of anything. It gets the sound able to hear for you, but that's about it. Now let's check the Dell. Yeah, I think the difference is more than obvious. This one has bass, which this one hasn't at all way louder, I would even say double as loud because I mostly use this one at 70% where I have to use this at 100 and I wish at least to have 20% more. Just real quick again. Wow, the difference is just huge. So a win by so much of a gap, the Dell. Okay, we saw the display, we saw the sound. What about the performance? Of course, we have the C3740 and the 73770 here. So is the difference really big and obvious? Let's check it and just open a page. As you can see, okay, I had this one preloaded. Let's take another one just to make it even. Yeah, for some weird reason, this one even seems faster. If we take the sunspot into consideration, this one is faster. But in daily life, you won't really notice a big difference in terms of the loading times. Let's check the scrolling. I think you can see it. It is pretty much on par. If you are really looking side by side directly, this one seems ever, ever, ever so slightly smoother. And you will also notice this in the modern UI apps. But... <clears throat> The difference is so marginal and if you are only want this if you only want this for the performance you won't definitely see it maybe here it's a bit obvious here it's maybe a bit visible but like i said it is so marginal definitely nothing to really talk about because maybe in cpu intensive stuff you will see this more maybe let's check a pdf and there the difference could be a bit bigger okay we have the same PDF and now let's check it. Let's take the same page and try it again. 
as you can see, there is not a big of a difference. Sometimes the one is faster, sometimes the other. In overall, how I see it in daily life, the ThinkPad was always a bit faster. It, but of course, on the video, uh, I don't. I think it's obvious now. Uh, now you can see it's always a hit and miss showing this stuff on the video. But believe me, this one is always a bit faster. You can see it. I think it's. I think it's obvious. There is a difference, but it is really not a big one. Both deliver a great PDF performance and the modern UI performance. The browsing performance is pretty much awesome on both. So in terms of the performance. I choose this as the winner, of course, but by a so minimal, marginal thing, this really isn't the deciding factor. You get great performance on both if you need a little bit more, but of course there is the price difference. So in overall this wins, but ever so close. We talked about the performance, but what about the battery performance? And sadly for me, the difference is bigger than I would have wished for, because on the Dell we have an average of 7 hours and 200 hours of standby and 5 hour 20 and 170 hours of standby. So this is an average. But usually, I, as I said already in my review, I get about 8 hours on this one where I have trouble getting even 6. Like you can see, it's hardly 6 hours of active use. And you can't really kill this one in one day. In usual day, 2 to 3, but you can easily kill this one in a day. Especially because of one thing. here. I use usually about 30, maybe 40 at best if I want a really bright display. But here I have to use at least 50% and most times if I want an enjoyable experience in a brighter room even 60%. So you have to use at least 20% more battery here and this causes the extra drain. If I would use maybe for the, the, the narrow, it would get narrow the, the difference, but it isn't. So the absolute clear winner here is definitely the Dell. And this one is mine, so I'm sorry I have not really the best battery life. This one is fantastic, this one is meh at best. Okay, we covered the hardware and the performance. And what I usually do now is talk about the software. But there's not really much to tell you since both are running the same US. Both are pretty much the same in stability. So I can't really talk much about the only thing I would have to mention, maybe in the software part, the Dell has the stylus support which this one have, this could be a deciding factor. And I will talk about the stylus in the Dell SSY special, but otherwise for the software, th there's no winner here since they're both using the same. Okay, it's time to choose a winner now. And I think it's obvious this one's the winner for me in overall, <laughs> mostly because it's my device. If I would have this the winner, this would be my device. But let's check the first things. About the hardware, I told you it's more of a personal preference, both um built very well this one feels a bit more premium but this one feels a bit more solid and nicer not nice in the hand but nicer in overall because of the materials so it's really hard to choose a winner i would call it a tie but because they're both so different but on a high level as for the display here's the clear winner that this one just because of the higher pixel density i love the higher resolution it makes really a huge difference if you're reading a lot and the, the most things i do is reading i browse a lot i read a lot of pdfs and office documents and then this one just takes the cake it's not it's, it doesn't mean this one doesn't do this as well it does it way better than the acer w4 because this one had a bit of fuzzy text so like I said, this is a high quality low res display and this is a way above average full HD display which just takes the kicks mostly because of the resolution. In terms of the brightness and everything, as I told you, I would prefer this one. But the display winner here, the Lenovo. As for the sound, you saw it, so you know this one winch by such a huge gap because this one doesn't just have the better sound it has a really great sound really really satisfying but this one it's not really mad at best it's it's just sound and it doesn't really give me a satisfying experience at all and i would wish for it at least to be louder since it's not even a good sound this is really the biggest problem besides and now i want to get to the battery real quick Battery winner here definitely by a big gap also this one it gives me almost two hours of active use more and you can see this one here drains so quickly in use and sometimes you look at this at the battery and don't even see it drain anything. As for the performance 
this one is faster yes you saw it on the pdf you saw it maybe in the browser and the smoothness and in the overall it is faster but if you wouldn't have both in the direct comparison you wouldn't have any you wouldn't notice it i only notice it when i do it really directly if i switch from this to this i will notice it if i switch from this to this i don't notice it that much and maybe if you use more cpu intensive stuff because the ram won't be a difference here both have two gigabytes of ram so it's mostly about cpu intensive stuff where you will maybe see a slight difference here but in casual use office documents youtube videos and all the other stuff there is a small advantage here but it is really nothing that would really make a difference here so the winner is this one but really not by a big margin software as i already told you they are both using the same so there's no winner here so what about the overall winner of course it is the dell for me personally mostly because of the display and mostly even just because of that okay okay it has the micro hdmi which i know to appreciate and this is a big plus but the lenovo has the stylus which could be an even bigger plus for some other people for me it's not the usb 3.0 is only also a nice addition but also not a big thing for me because I don't even have a USB 3.0 USB on the go cable. So I can't really take any advantage of it yet. And of course, what I also forgot, this one charges in three hours, where well, this one needs almost four. So it's not just holding longer, it's also charging faster. So in overall, the winner for me is this one because it is a little bit better in everything besides, of course, the sound. And but you have to consider the price. This one is 400 euros or dollars, I think 430 dollars. And this one you can get on a deal for 200 euros or dollars. And usually the price is 250. So there is the difference. For me, it was, it was worth the extra money because mostly of the display. If you read, if you read a lot and if you know to appreciate sharp text, then you should consider also because of the HDMI and the USB port, it will be slightly more future proof because of this, at least for me. So fantastic tablet, fantastic budget tablet. There's not really a, a real loser here. There's two winners here. Okay, that's it for my comparison of maybe two of the best Windows 8.1 tablets in the eight inch section. And if you like the comparison, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and reshare this video. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'll be back.